M1D fuel bleed complete. Vehicle is on internal power. Ground gas close as it started. All set? Yep. T minus 30 seconds. Gas loads are complete. Ready for launch. Supersonic. Welcome to Vintgot on Wednesdays where I'm trying to build the Marble Machine X. Side boosters are now throttling back up to the full yeah, power. We're past max Q, the period of maximum loads on the vehicle. Next up we'll be waiting for the side boosters to begin to throttle down prior to booster engine cutoff and separation. One of the major design challenges in designing Marble Machine X has been to get it ready for performing live music on stage. For example, we have designed it in seven different sections that can be easily disassembled and assembled. And we've also implemented these programming plates that makes it possible to change song from song number one to song number two quite fast on stage in the middle during a live performance. These programming plates are held in place by these plywood levers and these levers needed to be held in place themselves. So I designed this little magnetic lever lock in CAD. It had to be quite thin, so I had to make it from metal. And then my friend Nathan Skalski from CNC Router Parts offered to cut it on his CNC Plasma cut machine. So I exported the DXF file, which is basically a contour of the design. And I also exported some DXF files of the marble track system. So Nathan took these files, converted them into G code and started cutting out the pieces. Without this package, I will be kind of screwed. I really think it can help me get my things together. What do I know? I'm only a closet engineer trying to be this old top. Just joking here, of course. We all know they're called fasteners. Two. Wow. There's 16 locks on each side of the programming wheel, so in total I need 32 levers, 32 screws, and 64 neodymium disc magnets. I started with drilling this countersink. I don't want anything protruding above the surface of the side of the programming gear, so countersinks here is essential. I was drilling the countersinks. Did you see that flash? Power just went out. Thor, do you approve of the countersinks? Thanks Thor, I like them too. Plasma cutting has a quite rough cut finish and leaves some residue that is easily sanded off. For other parts in the MMX where the 90 degree cut angle is critical, we're going to use laser cutting. 
Since I like the Marble Machine X design to be rough and industrial, the plasma cut finish actually fits the aesthetics of the machine and I didn't try to polish these parts to a click spring finish, but I did hook up a metal brush to my bench drill and brush the parts a little bit, mainly to get the dirt off. After that I roughened up the glue surfaces of both the levers and the magnets. This is to ensure that the glue has something to grab onto on the otherwise quite smooth surfaces. Then I started gluing the magnets to the levers and a nice thing with gluing magnets is that they're self clamping so you don't have to use clamps. They are clamping themselves to the surface thanks to their magnetic force so that's a little luxury actually. <laughs> Now I had all the metal levers done, so I could pre-drill the holes in the plywood levers for the corresponding magnets and glue them in place. The UHU Max Repair Glue is the recommended glue for gluing neodymium magnets from supermagnet.de. And I'm also drilling a light pressure fit here so these magnets won't come off ever. At this point I had all the parts ready and I could start to attach the magnetic lever locks. And I had machined an undersized hole in the plywood so I could just drive in the M6 fastener and it will never move. It's really really rigidly fitted in there and I can leave a little space so that the lever can pivot. This little lever lock is a good example of a part that we have to create because the Marble Machine X is going to play live music on the upcoming world tour. It is a tiny little detail, but it is these little small mechanical details that will make the Marble Machine X work. I really love the sound that the lever locks make when they snap in place like this. With the lever locks attached, the programming wheel structure is assembled. And I still can't get over the magic in creating something inside the computer and then building it in real life and how similar the two things look. Everything just looks identical. <laughs> it's so awesome. A very special thanks to the Wintergatan sponsors who are sponsoring this YouTube channel. It's actually almost half my YouTube revenue and it makes it possible for me to do this professionally. So thank you so much. I really love this scrap metal piece that Nathan cut out and I wanted to express my gratitude to the Wintergatan sponsors by giving it to one of you. So I'll create a post in the community tab for the sponsors and you just put your name in there and I will randomly select one of you and send you the scrap piece. Thank you. I discussed this with Nathan and together we decided to cut the scrap up in smaller pieces so we will send out five of these squares. So Nathan will cut and ship out five of these pieces to you all from Portland. I'm so lucky to have this kind of help. So I want to say a big thanks to Nathan and CNC Route Parts. They also helped me with the CNC machine. So they've been really, really, really helping me with the Marble Machine X project. I hope to make a lot of assembling progress every Wednesday from now on. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next thing to go on Wednesday. So now I need a box for all these. Let's see if we have something. That might work.